Now, there was a time 50 years ago where seat belts were the gold standard in car safety. Then came airbags. Now, there are smart cars that literally jump to keep passengers safe. If you don't brake, it will brake for you. Once upon a time, you used to have to spend $200,000 to get the latest safety features. Today, you can get on a $25,000 hatchback. That's the first time we've ever seen that, and it's a huge extra level of protection at all speeds. This is the Mercedes S-Class, brand new and packed with safety features. This car can detect if another car is going to hit it from the side. A lot of T-bone crash accidents. It will lift by three centimetres so that the impact is in a safer space for the occupants. Tech expert Trevor Long. So this car is changing the way we follow a GPS, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. So in front of you, up on the windscreen, is a head-up display. Common in a lot of cars today, but this one, when you navigate somewhere, all the arrows that normally appear on the screen are actually going to appear on the windscreen as if they're on the roads in front of you. An augmented reality set of navigational aids, which means you're right, stay on the road. In a world first, backseat passengers have been considered. Besides for being very comfortable and spacious back here, there are some great safety features. Yeah, the S-Class has pretty solid airbag protection for all the occupants. So you've got curtain airbags here which protect all the occupants from hitting the window or the window coming into them. Most importantly, this has rear airbags for the rear passengers that inflate from the front seats. And there's even an airbag in between the driver and the passenger up front, which protects them from impacting each other in the event of an accident. The new Mercedes S-Class will set you back $240,000. This is one of the first cars in the world to have airbags. In 1981, Mercedes pioneered the airbag in the S-Class, the same car that they're launching today. It's come a long way, hasn't it? We have come a long way, and that technology, because Mercedes releases it to the world, is now in cars of all prices and all shapes and sizes. Enter the Hyundai i30 from $25,000. Think about lane assistance. It's a very common feature these days. So what it means is the car, through a camera here and sensors in the front, can see the road. It can see the light road markings, those dots on the road. And if you veer towards them, it'll actually beep and it'll actually push the steering wheel so that you go back into your lane. Active cruise control, another feature. So you choose the distance and no matter what speed the car goes in front of you, if it slows down, your car slows down. Nose to tail crashes are so common, how can they be avoided? A lot of cars today have a thing called autonomous emergency braking. So this car here can see what's in front of it and if, if a car in front of you slows suddenly and you don't brake, the car will beep and if you don't brake, it will brake for you. The Hyundai's also got automatic high beams that will come on in darkness or dim when another car is travelling towards you. Inside the car, nine airbags. For parents at home who have kids learning to drive, should they be driving, in your opinion, an old car, a 25-year-old car, or should they be investing in something like this? Wherever you have the choice, it's great if your kids, learning and out on their own and their peas, are in a car that has some of the basic fundamentals. Well, there are three aspects to vehicle safety. Firstly, the structure, a well-designed vehicle that's able to withstand the crash. Secondly, the restraints, so the airbags and seat belts that work in conjunction with the structure to minimise the impact of a crash. And thirdly, the active avoidance systems, which work to avoid a collision in the first place. Carla Horveg's Chief Executive of Motoring Body and Cap Safety. There are five star rated cars across all segments and at all price points, both new and used. For $16,990, the Kia Picanto also comes with autonomous emergency braking reversing camera, parking sensors, airbags and stability control. The Mazda CX-8 is $47,000. you will get smart braking with pedestrian recognition, speed sign recognition and speed assistance, blind spot monitoring, a 360 degree view camera and head up display on the windscreen. Unfortunately there's no such thing as a crash proof vehicle. Josh Dowling from Car Advice has this important message. The only downside to this technology is people place too much faith in it and they don't concentrate enough on the road. This is the pinnacle of motoring safety and technology. Yeah, it really is quite incredible. And you'll find the safety ratings for more than 800 cars on the ANCAP website. Look for a five-star rating and the latest date stamp possible. The link is on our website.